Hello, just a short handheld video uh, regarding uh, a few changes to, you can make to the virtual DJ mapping of the DDJ400 from Pioneer controller and also the DDJ1000 which works the same in this regard so that uh, some of the pads work more like they do in record box. Um, in virtual DJ uh, if you look at the keyboard and the key shift um, uh, pad functionality, the key shift one is a bit like it is in the record box. So we're going to that one. This. That actually jumps to the previous cue point and starts playing and also changing the key. But if you go into the keyboard one, that does something completely different. Because that's actually mapped to Q loop in Virtual DJ. So if we go back to the screen, we'll see it does something like this. That's also a very nice feature, but what it does in Recordbox is that it does almost the same as key shift, except that it doesn't jump back to the cue point. So it acts more like a keyboard where you can change the key while the song is playing. My guess is that it's not mapped like that in a Virtual DJ because uh, that'll be the same pad page in Virtual DJ. It's just a small setting on the pad page that changes between these two behaviors. But since that setting is, uh, is, is editable using script, we can remap uh, the DDJ400 and exactly the same way the DDJ1000 so that it does basically the same as it does in Redbox. So we go into the mapping part here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And then we go down to pad modes. And pad modes for the keyboard set the cue loop like we saw before. And for the pad page, it sets the key cue. But what we want is that it sets the key cue in both instances. So it changes the cue loop. And then we simply add another setting. And that one is called key Q. Pat jump, like we see here. EQ pad jump, so it's up here, and for the keyboard one, we want that to not work, so we set it to zero. For the other one, we want it to jump, so we do the same thing. EQ pad jump and then we set it to one. And we save our setting here so we get a custom one and we can now test it. So going down uh, here, go back to the key shift one, see that it acts the same.
But if we change over to the keyboard one, now it continues playing. Play. Without jumping. If we went wait for some vocals or something, it would be easier to hear. Especially the other one. So now we reprogrammed it so it works much more like what it does uh, in record box. Uh, this was done on the uh, DDJ 400, but like I said, it's exactly the same on the DDJ 1000. One thing is that um, the LED for the keyboard hasn't been changed, so it still thinks it's the key shift. That's also changeable in much the same way inside the mapping. But uh, that's just uh, uh, for the look of it, so we'll save that for another video. Hope this helped. Bye.